This is Gadleo, a tutor at Tutorvolt. And today we will be busy with practicing workplace English and we will be doing um, assignment number one. So we have our assignment session, uh, which is, I believe it's actually due on the 14th of next month, but basically it's actually due next month. So I figured, let me just prepare you guys to this assignment. Let me give you tips on how to go about this assignment. So remember this assignment is basically about essays. Um, it's about essays, it's about writing minutes, it's about writing reports, it's about, it's about writing memorandums, it's about writing anything that is business, um, right, that has business writing or that is business writing related. And um, this is a very fun assignment. I believe that people, you guys are just gonna enjoy it. You guys are gonna love it. Like it's very exciting. It's very nice. It just needs you to relax. Give your, give your, give yourself some thoughts. Relax. Um, study the paper and go through. You know, go through the assignment at your own pace and at your own time. And remember, you're not actually allowed to. Well. You are allowed, but according to me, you're actually not allowed to submit on the due date because of system might crash and whatnot. So all the best, good luck, and yeah, you know, kill this paper. <laughs> like figuratively speaking, because this is an assignment. So this is your chance to actually get your marks before your your exam. So um one might be wondering what we need to actually include on our assignment. So you need to include your cover page, which is something I will actually show you later on. So your cover page needs to include your full names, your module code, your module name, the module name in detail, the assignment number, which is assignment number one, assignment unit code, and the submission date. It needs to have the table of content and the, and the assignment itself, the reference page. Please also include the declaration form or the pleasure, uh, plagiarism page, which is a page that will actually specify that I declare that this is my work. I declare that I, I whoever declare that this is my work. Okay, and 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 then that's when you're gonna include your date, your your signature. And without it, I think they won't, it won't be, your assignment won't be taken. So it actually is proof that you didn't do any plagiarism on your assignment. Question one is about writing skills in workplace correspondence. Just to refresh your memory, uh, business correspondence or writing can be defined as a purposeful writing which can include emails, memorandums and reports, um, minutes of a meeting, and is direct, clear, and to be read easily, which is something that we actually did on study unit one and study unit two, which is minutes. Because if I remember correctly, study unit three was about reports. So study unit one and two was your business correspondence and minutes. So we're going to part A of assignment one, uh, which is question one. How to tackle question one? You need to you, you need to check the spell, the spelling errors and punctuation. We will then later go through what the assignment needs you to do. Then I'll actually show you an example of what of how you need to write your question one and question two. You know. Um, so one needs to check the spelling error and punctuation. You also need to check the sentence structure, meaning and language. So, okay. Example, this is then where I will share, um, okay. okay. This is where I will share the question. So our question, oh, Okay, so our question goes to, oh, excuse me. So our question basically is that you need, this is a rough draft of an email. So you need to, just to summarize this question, 
you actually need to it says you are the secretary of you are the secretary to the uh, director human resource at lakeside uh, municipality the top manage management has decided to implement a, a mentorship program as part of the recruitment um init okay initiative for the coming year the idea is that each senior and experienced member of the staff should take newly appoint, app, appointment employee under their wing to provide information and guidance and to monitor performance and progress. Uh, while some senior staff members are supportive, the majority have less concerned about the program and will take up too much of their time in the effort of in the effort to get buy in from all those who would be affected management has requested has requested your uh, your director to draft an email that would send to um, senior staff explaining the need and purpose offering guidelines for the program while ensuring staff okay while reassuring staff as a secretary to the director human resource you feel the content of the message is not clearly, uh, it's not clear, and you would like to make an improvement on it before sending it to the senior member. So you actually need to edit an email, right? So this is a, um, you need to read the provided draft email below critically and then provide and then improve on it by revising, editing, and proofreading it. This means you should restructure the message by adding or leaving out information. In your revised version, you should present the ideas and information in an appropriate format with well-structured paragraphs, write in an appropriate style and use grammatic correct English. So it shouldn't exceed one page. So then we will then go to our um, example. So our example shows that that this is an edited email. So this email basically was um, this. This is just to show you how you guys need to tackle your your assignment. I'm actually um, I'm obviously not going to give you answers, but I'm just going to help you there and there. So this is an edited version of a drafted um, email that was for an assignment for 2020. So um, you first check your spelling, right? You, you, check, you first check if the spelling is correct. You check if the grammar is correct. You check if the definition is, is correct. You might find they actually meant to write, um, for example, um, maybe they meant to write, Well, spelling, they were meant to actually write, um, okay, the, an amazing price. And then by, by accident, they wrote um, A, or rather N, and then MA, and then they actually, for, um, they actually left out Z, and then there's price. So you, as Alana, you're obviously going to then add up the Z to say it's going to be an amazing price. And then your greetings, you also need to check your greetings if your greetings are correct. You need to also check if the title that is correct for the person you're writing for. You also then need to check if we have, um, you also need to check if, you know, if the paragraphs are correct. Basically, in this assignment, you need to, read the whole email, eliminate information that is not needed because you might find there's repetition of whatever that you read, eliminate information that is not needed, correct spelling errors, and then you also need to check the meaning because sometimes there's, for example, in English, you know, there's meat and meat. There's M-E-A-T and M-E-E-T. So you might by accident, they would have probably, they would have probably have written, we would like to meet M-E-A-T with you. So you need to actually 
facts, check correctly, and actually write M-E-E-T with you. We would like to meet with you. So that actually counts a lot. Like it has, a, it can be a lot of a lot of marks. So this is fifty. Um, so it carries a whole lot of marks. This carries a whole lot of marks because they actually want to see if you know how you know your grammar, you know your um, punctuations, you know any like you know everything about emails, grammar punctuations, you know, proper uh, structured English, you know how to structure sentences, you know how, you know the definition, like the definition of words, the meaning of different words, you know, if, like I'm saying, if we probably wanted to write, we will meet by the bus stop, but my meet is actually in a wrong format. Like I actually wrote M-E-A-T instead of M-E-E-T. So you are actually supposed to correct it by M-E-E-T. So, uh, okay, please do not mind the, 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 the comments in there. So if I remember correctly, in this sentence, the sentence was saying on the draft email, it was saying that, uh, please, do not let people fool you, as in F-U-L-L. -L. So if we pronounce it correctly, it's do not let people fool, as in F-O-O-L, you. And then first and the foremost was, uh, was incorrect. Uh, okay, people will not love you the same. So you actually need to check a repetition of if you need to check if your assignment doesn't have any repetition or you also and you also need to check if your assignment is correctly written like you need to actually check that before you submit before i actually close up um part a of this assignment of this question basically which is question one you need to check that your question is correctly as answered it's correctly prepared it's correct it's it's nicely prepared hence i said to you that you need to sit down you need to look at your question paper you need to smile at it you know <laughs> you need to fall in love with it you need to do your research you need to go on your dictionary you need to check a, a lot of meaning you need to check um in, uh, sentence structure you need to check your your, your definitions you need to check a whole lot of things you know before you actually write a, um, a whole drafted email that is that will be your edited email to wherever that you need to write it to and then before you actually submit it to your lecturer and your lecturer needs to see that hey I've like you've set for this assignment you've you've said you've prepared you've researched you've done so much for this assignment and then you need to get your probably 50 49 48 not less than 45 you need to get it in the bag you know you need to definitely get it in the bag and that is um all with our part a and now we are going to part b which is minutes of a meeting so minutes of a meeting minutes of a meeting right um okay let me but minutes of a meeting is basically a written document that actually films or a written document that summarizes whatever that had happened in the meeting during the meeting um it summarizes whatever that had happened during the meeting so it's a summary or it's a short summary of whatever that had transpired in the meeting or whatever decisions that were made in the meeting in a in a certain meeting that was taken uh, that, that was taking place and just to remind yourself remember that um minutes are actually written in past tense because of like i'm saying it was actually um 
like I'm saying that the meeting had to, like already happened. So, uh, okay. No, excuse me. So that is, uh, I think that is study unit two. Yes. So minutes I actually found in study unit two. And we are then going to go to our question for the minutes. And the question for the minutes is okay, that you work at, uh, let me see. Okay, good. So the purpose of this question is to assess your ability to record meetings accurately and objectively using formal language. This requires you to do necessary preparatory reading so, so as you can answer question, uh, the question um, adequately. Work, th uh, work through 